Hello and welcome to the Golden America channel. In a tragic turn of events early Sunday morning, a distress call from a suburban home near Minneapolis ended in the devastating loss of two police officers and a firefighter who were fatally shot at the scene. Officials have confirmed that a suspect involved in the shooting also lost their life. The Minnesota Police and Peace Officers Association confirmed the deaths of the two Burnsville police officers and the firefighter, expressing profound sorrow for the loss. Another officer was injured in the shooting. Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz expressed his shock and grief, emphasizing the bravery and sacrifices made by police officers and first responders daily. He extended his heartfelt condolences to the families of the fallen officers and the entire state of Minnesota stands in solidarity with Burnsville during this difficult time. The fallen officers were identified as Paul Elmstrand and Matthew Ruhe, both 20 years old, while the firefighter was Adam Finzith, aged 40, who also served as a paramedic. Tragically, Finzith was fatally shot while providing aid to Elmstrand and Ruhe. The injured officer, Sergeant Adam Medlicott, is expected to recover from his wounds. The circumstances surrounding the death of the shooting suspect have not yet been disclosed. The shooting occurred in a peaceful residential neighborhood, sending shockwaves through the community. Emergency vehicles lined the street as authorities responded to the tragic incident. Democratic Congresswoman Angie Craig expressed her condolences and offered federal resources to assist the city in coping with the aftermath. The incident serves as a somber reminder of the risks faced by those who dedicate themselves to protecting our communities. Burnsville, with its population of approximately 64,000, is situated about 15 miles south of downtown Minneapolis. If you've reached this point, thanks for watching, hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for more in our next video.